Hi guys, today in this video, I will be making a simple and powerful spot welding machine using few capacitors, which can effectively and strongly weld all the nickel strips, without any controller or programming. I used 6800 UF capacitor for this project. And I used 6 capacitors of same value. Arrange all the capacitor like this. Use any adhesive tape to hold all capacitors together. Now pre-solder all pins of capacitors. Get a copper wire, from 7 core copper wire, and solder all the negative pins in parallel. Use another piece of copper wire, and solder all the positive pins in parallel. Now our 6 capacitor pack is ready. For power supply filter, I designed the PCB for easy assembly of this circuit. And the PCB is going to be look like this. You can download both circuit diagram and PCB files, link is in video description. In order to manufacture this PCB, go to the video description, and with this link sign up on JLCPCB website. On the homepage of JLCPCB website, here you can add the Gerber file I provided. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. You can also change quantity and the color of PCBs as per your requirements. and then save to cart for checkout. Within some days I got my order from JLCPCB delivered. And the quality of the PCBs is amazing, and 5 pieces is for just $2. And now it is time to assemble the PCB. So, let's place all the components on the PCB according to the circuit diagram. And after spending some time with the soldering process, I cleaned the PCB with isopropyl. And here our PCB is looking nice and clean. Now the capacitors be assembled before needs to be connected with the PCB, so, I will solder extension copper pins to both positive and negative of capacitor pack. Connect the PCB with capacitors, and solder the pins. Now we need a 12012 transformer of 1 to 3 amperes. Connect the transformer wires into the PCB connector. Use a 3mm nut bolt, and insert into these terminal holes. I used 6mm copper cable, to make welding probes. And used 1mm copper enamel wire to make prop tips, and also added 8mm thimbles to another end. Now secure the cables into the terminal bolts. Now connect the transformer to the 220 volt AC outlet. And you can see it turned on. I will use this battery holder for easy welding of this 18650 lithium battery. I used 0.10 mm nickel strip for welding. 
Weld by putting one probe on battery and another on nickel strip, and weld few times at one spot, to make stronger joints. As you can see welding spots are having good joints. Now let's test with the another battery. As you can see, the circuit is definitely useful for welding purpose. So, if you enjoyed the video give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.